Suppose the determinant of matrix B equals 81 and the cofactor matrix of B is given below. We're asked to find B inverse. We will use the adjoint method to determine B inverse, where the formula for the adjoint method is A inverse is equal to one divided by the determinant of matrix A times the adjoint of matrix A, where the adjoint of A is equal to the transpose of the cofactor matrix. So from the given information, we know the determinant of matrix B is equal to 81, and we are given the cofactor matrix, which means we'll have to transpose the cofactor matrix to determine the required adjoint of matrix B. So the adjoint of B is equal to the transpose of the cofactor matrix. To find the transpose of the cofactor matrix, or the adjoint of matrix B, the first column in the cofactor matrix will become the first row in the adjoint of B. The second column in the cofactor matrix will become the second row in the adjoint of B, and so on. The third column in the cofactor matrix will be the third row in the adjoint of B, and the fourth column in the cofactor matrix will be the fourth row in the adjoint of B. So the first row in the adjoint of B, or the transpose of the cofactor matrix B, is 27, 54, 0, 0. The second row is negative 27, negative 81, 0, negative 54. The third row is 0, negative 81, 27, negative 81. And the fourth row is 0, 27, 0, 27. Now that we have the determinant of matrix B and the adjoint of matrix B, we can find B inverse. Let's do this on the next slide. B inverse is equal to one divided by the determinant of matrix B times the adjoint of B, which gives us B inverse is equal to one divided by 81 times the adjoint of B, which we just found on the previous slide. Performing the scalar multiplication gives us the matrix here on the right, and now let's just simplify the fractions. In the first row, 27 over 81 simplifies to 1 third. 54 over 81 simplifies to 2 thirds. And then we have 0, 0. In the second row, we have negative 1 third, negative 1, 0, negative 2 thirds. In the fourth row, we have 0, negative 1, 1 third, negative one. In the fourth row we have zero, one third, zero, one third. It's common to see the inverse matrix given in this form or this last form. I hope you found this helpful.